Now here at 430 Middletown's Juneteenth Parade is Monday, but while people get ready to march, police are investigating potential hate crimes in that city. They're looking for whoever smeared feces on people's cars and homes this week. For more on the investigation, let's check in with Channel 3's Dylan Fearon. He is live outside City Hall for us this afternoon. Dylan. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, police are confident that this was all targeted. There are a few victims here. All of them have a pride flag hanging outside their home. We spoke to a woman yesterday who also believes this was targeting African Americans because yesterday when she stepped out of her home, she saw a car with feces smeared all over it and the N word written with the feces. Now, as far as the investigation goes, there are some home security cameras, ring cameras in that neighborhood. Police have not released any footage yet, but of course they're trying to solve this as quickly as possible. I mean, guys, we're three days away from Juneteenth. We're in the middle of Pride Month. Today we saw Middletown city officials raise the Juneteenth flag, and we were here today as we got some reaction to these disturbing details. I hope they find out who did it. Give them the amount, max amount of community service that you can possibly give them and give them some education. It's either a person who is uh, very troubled and, and, and hopefully gets help um, uh, or uh, somebody who is trying to get attention for their hateful actions um, or maybe a little bit of both. Now, Middletown is not the only city dealing with a potential hate crime. Earlier this week, a man in Hartford, Scott Franklin, was accused and was allegedly caught on camera drawing a swastika on the city's Black Lives Matter street mural. A couple of days after that, Franklin was arrested. Middletown police hoping to do the same thing with this investigation. Much more coming up at 530 tonight. We're live in Middletown. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Dylan.